<laughs> the things I have to do. Uh, funny enough, I'll, I'll tell you guys my story when I go outside. Because funny enough, Walmart has a policy against recording in the stores, but not against a bicycle in the store. <laughs> Look it up for yourselves. Whew. I had to wait until I got back home to, to make this. Hi, kitties. Oh, I, I gave you guys some food earlier. You already ate most of it. So you just want lovings. Anyways, these are all the, all the strays that uh, <laughs> eventually they'll let somebody pet them and then they'll uh, they'll go to somebody's home. Because <sighs> these guys, they don't really like most people, but they love me after about six months of them being alive. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, so I was at Walmart yesterday and uh, was just getting my normal stuff, you know, some shrimp and uh, food. And uh, I was on the bike. And this white bitch walks up to me. She don't even have a vest on. The only, th only way I knew she was a fucking employee, she had a name tag on. And uh, she she tells me, oh, you can't bring that bike in the store. You got to take it outside. And I'm like, okay. I, well, at first I was like, no, I blame Gliss. Like I kind of looked at her like she was retarded. And I was just like, no, I blame Gliss. <laughs> she was like, yeah, right. I know you understand me. Okay. <laughs> Like, I straight up just fucking with this bitch. Uh, and she proceeds to follow me, like, because the last thing I always grab is I grab bread before I leave. Because that way it doesn't get squished on anything in my basket. Nothing like that. So I was already literally walking towards the register as she finally says something to me. And, like, she proceeds to follow me all the way to the register. I stand in line waiting for people. And she's just this broken record. You have to take that outside. You have to take it outside. I told her to fuck off. Like, I had enough of it. I was like, straight up, bitch, fuck off. Unless you can show me a store policy that says I can't have this bike in the store, fuck off. Well, this bitch literally gets in my way to move my basket that I had sat down full of stuff out of the way and be like, well, I'm refusing to serve you. Bitch, I'm at self-checkout. <laughs> so I just kind of laugh about it. She called her manager over and uh, the manager didn't say a goddamn word. The manager just stared and like watched like and this bitch literally she she pushed me out the way to get to the basket to tell me I, I wasn't going to be served so I walk over after the person in front of me was done with their checking out I grab a pack of gum and I go to scan it because I'm like bitch I'm gonna buy something regardless go fuck yourself this bitch puts her hands on me like physically put her hand on my hand I can't really show you very well but like she put her hand on me to try to like, grab the gum from me. Like, no, you can't. <laughs> well, well, and this bitch tells the people, oh, shut this one down. Blah, blah, blah. To the fucking, you know, the, the self-checkout attendant. <laughs> so when I go in there, actually, the funniest thing is uh, that register that she had them shut down is broken now. Like, they broke the register. <laughs> and you have to, like, pay through the app on that register now. Like, it won't accept card payments. They really broke that machine. <laughs> But that's why I had the bike in the basket when I went in there. I didn't even go into the store with the bike on the floor. I put it in a basket that was in one of the return areas and walked it into the store. I had two interactions with people in the store that were not employees. And they just got a kick out of it. Especially when I told them why I had the, <laughs> the bike in the bags. Or in the fucking cart. It was priceless. Uh, I had a good laugh about it. And uh, yeah. Yeah, second time on trying like them trying to kick me out of Walmart. And only the first time I wasn't able to actually pay for my stuff, but I didn't care. I, I literally told that lady, I was like, I'm going to just come back in here tomorrow. She's like, I work tomorrow. Good luck. Like, I literally went online. I looked up shift times for Walmart. <laughs> and I just went in there before her shift. <laughs> uh, I love fucking with people, like... Especially when they're in the wrong about a whole situation. Like, there's no store policy. I looked on Walmart's website. Okay? I looked on Walmart's website. There's no store policy against bringing a bicycle into the store. The only thing their store policies say anything about on bicycles is a return policy. <coughs> so, there actually is no rule. Quite literally no rule against it. Uh... That was my brother and my sister-in-law that just went down the road. Uh, but there's literally no law against it. <laughs> or not law, there's no rule. Store rule against bringing a bicycle in the store. So I'm going to continue to bring my bicycle into Walmart and continue to uh, tell these people to fuck off. 
Also, I called corporate on that manager yesterday. It was fucking hilarious. Uh, dude was straight up like, no, 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 no. We're not going to let this happen. <laughs> and even the guy I talked to at corporate didn't say anything about me not being allowed to bring that bicycle into the store. He just told me we're going to make sure this doesn't happen again. And I'm just like, all right, cool. So, yeah. Uh, story time over. Sorry if it's a, it's a long one and, like, no real. You know, usually I do this, I should do these story times riding the bike, but it's way too windy. Way too windy for all of that. So, I didn't do it riding the bike. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going fishing today because it's too cold. It's like 40-something, but feels like 33 because uh, all of this damn 15 mile per hour winds. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to go fishing today. I'll probably go fishing in a couple days. But uh, yeah, we got our shrimp for baits. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys later.